Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automation channel. In this video, we are going to quickly see about the most common Selenium test engine interview questions asked in many major companies like TCS, Infosys, Accenture, etc. So I just have a total of around 18 questions in this whole video. So I'm sure most of your interview questions will be from these questions. So please watch the whole video. It will be definitely useful for your upcoming interview. So let's quickly start. So the first question is consider your automation framework has around 1000 test cases. How do you separate these test cases based on smoke regression and system test cases? So in this scenario, we have to use test ng groups where we have to name all our test with group names. Okay, whatever test cases you feel it as smoke test, you have to name it as groups equal to smoke test cases. And whatever test cases you are feeling like it's a regression test, give it a group name like regression and one more thing you have to do is during test execution we need to add the group name in your test ng xml file also inside groups tag and you have to use include tag okay so test ng grouping is a very important interview question so please do some hands-on training in grouping test cases okay so let's see the next question why are you using test ng library in your automation framework so this is also a famous interview question so test ng annotations make our code more readable okay using test ng we can generate html test reports we can do parallel execution we can parameterize tests and we can prioritize tests so these are some of the major advantages of test ng so please explain all these things in the interview okay so let's see the next question what is parameterization in test ng so to run multiple tests with different input data, we use parameterization or we go for parameterization. Okay. So there are two ways to achieve parameterization. One is using at parameters annotation and one is using at data provider annotation. So the first approach at parameters annotation, we have to define parameters near our at test test case. Okay. Here I have used at parameters username okay and in my xml file i am passing values for this username so i am passing two different values one is admin user and one is normal user so this field username can accept multiple values now okay that is the use of parameterizing test okay we can pass multiple data to our test using at parameters annotation and the second approach is using data provider annotation consider you have a large amount of test data you are using in your automation framework or you are calling data from excel or databases you can go for a data provider annotation okay this is an another approach for achieving parameterization using test ng okay so let's see the next question how do you run your tests in multiple browsers or platforms using test ng so we can go for parallel execution using test ng so we need to run our tests in multiple browsers and multiple os right so as part of test execution so we have to make sure our test is compatible in multiple platforms so we can go for parallel execution here we need to modify our xml file with parallel values parallel attributes and as add different browser values or different OS values okay so here I am doing parallel execution in brow multiple browsers like Chrome Firefox and Safari so I am passing the values Chrome Firefox and Safari to this XML file and I am using an attribute parallel equal to test here okay in this way I can execute my test cases in these three browsers okay so let's see the next question Define the correct order of tags in the test ng xml file. So here we need to explain the tags order in which test ng xml file works. Okay. So initially it starts with su tag and then test tag, classes, class and methods tag. Okay. So this is the order in which the test ng xml file works. So let's see the next question. If you have multiple at test annotation in your class file, which test will be executed by first? So this question is asked in many interviews. In this scenario, test will be executed in alphabetical order. Okay, A to Z. Suppose your test name starts with A will be executing first and test name starts with B will be executed next and goes on. Okay, so let's see the next question. 
how do you create dependencies between test methods okay consider one test method is depending on another method we have an annotation called as depends on method in test ng okay see the same image i have a test called as open browser and i have a test called as sign in so this sign in test is dependent on open browser so here this open browser test will be executed first and after it get passed this sign in method will be executed okay that is the purpose of depends on method annotation and this way we can create dependencies between different test methods okay so next question is how to make test depend on a group of test okay here it's not about method it's about groups consider you have three groups called as regression group smoke test group and sanity test group in your automation framework regression test group might have hundreds of test cases similarly smoke and sanity might have hundreds of test cases okay so with the help of depends on group annotation we can make test depend on other groups okay so here depends on in depends on group annotation i have declared smoke test group and sanity test group only when these two groups are passed regression test groups will be executed so my regression test group is dependent on this smoke test group and sanity test group okay in this way we can make groups dependent on each other groups okay so let's see the next question how will you prioritize test using test ng so this is a simple question we can use priority attribute here so priority equal to zero meaning that test case will be executed first and priority is equal to one meaning that test case will be executed after priority is equal to zero is completed okay in this order priorities will be working on okay so let's see the next question what are the test ng annotations you are using so this is a common question asked for zero to five year experience candidates so you can explain all these annotations like before suit before class at test after method etc okay so next question is explain report generation process in your automation framework so test ng helps in generating our reports so after every test execution there will be a folder called as test output gets generated and say that we can open index.html files to see how many test cases are passed failed and on hold etc okay also we can uh, see a file called as test ng fail.xml in test output folder which contains failed test case details okay so let's see the next question what is exception test in test ng so consider when you are writing a test you are already uh, knowing this exception will occur in executing this particular test we can define that exception inside a test block okay using an annotation called as except expected exceptions so here i am expecting an exception called as no such element or element not interactable exception so when this test is executed and when this error is thrown our still test case will still get passed okay so because we are already defining this exception in this particular test so our test case will be getting passed okay this is called as exception test in test ng we can achieve it using expected exceptions annotation so what is the use of test ng time out so consider you are some of your test might take longer time to execute okay so we can define this time out and make the test fail if your test is crossing more than 100 seconds or 60 seconds so here i have given as 100 meaning our test will fail if it crosses 100 seconds of execution time okay so what is the difference between a data provider and a factory this is a common question common um, test ng question asking many interviews okay a data provider we just saw it's used to provide test data values from excel or databases to your test classes okay whereas a factory annotation is used to generate instances of the test class okay it generates instances of the test class and ex executes the test method within that particular class only okay so that is the difference between a data provider and a factory annotation this is an important interview question okay so what are the different uh, test ng annotation uh, assertions you are using and what is the difference between soft and hard assertion so assertions are basically used to verify expected result and actual result are equal 
okay so the different types of assertions are soft and hard assertion soft assertion meaning if you get an error while running your test method the assertion error will be thrown and the test will still keep on continuing after your next statement okay whereas hard assertion the test will stop execution immediately after the assertion error is thrown that is the difference main difference between soft and hard assertion soft assertion will keep on executing whereas hard assertion will stop execution after the assertion error okay so next question is how can we run a test method multiple times in a loop without using data provider okay so you don't have to use, you don't need to use data provider but how can you run your test method multiple times in a loop for that we can go for invocation count annotation meaning this annotation can be used if you want a particular test to be run multiple times okay so here i am running a test for five times same test repeatedly for five times okay so this is the purpose of invocation count to run the same test case multiple times so what are listeners and what are the listeners you are aware of so listeners can perform different actions whenever an event is triggered you might have used i test listener which is a popular listener so whenever a test case is passed or failed or skipped this on test success on test failure on test skipped method will get executed okay that is the purpose of listener whenever an event is triggered listener code will get executed okay this is an important interview question listeners okay so we have come to the end of the video i hope this video and uh, questions will be really useful for your upcoming interviews please do subscribe my channel ajay automates for more automation training related videos have a good day bye